What's good, y'all? What's up with it? It's your girl, Poppy. Oh, Poppy J, if you feeling spicy. And I don't know about y'all, but baby, Poppy J been feeling spicy lately. Do you hear me? Guess what? We back. We back. We back, we back, we back, we back with Pop Talk. Hey, Pop Talk. Now, I told y'all years and years and years ago that I wanted to have my own talk show. And baby, it ain't nothing to it but to do it. So this is me doing it, okay? What's good, y'all? What's up? Girl, Poppy, Jay, yeah, yeah, high five, Jesus. Woo! Woo! Welcome to Pop Talk, y'all. <laughs> Y'all, I have been gone for way too long. I honestly have missed my YouTube community. So if you're still here and if you're still rocking with me, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you. And next on the list of things to talk about is literally the entire theme of season one of Pop Talk, okay? And that is AT&T, Rising Future Makers. And the AT&T Dream in Black Rising Future Maker Program highlights 25 HBCU students from around the nation and puts them in a cohort, or should I say a class, um, of people who are thriving in their fields, making a difference in their community, inspiring the students on their campus. They are doing what they need to do, honey. And not only does this program highlight those 25 students, but it also grants us the opportunity to work with people in the industry. It grants us opportunities to travel and, and experience um, events and stars and celebrities that we would have never had um, the opportunity to interact with if it wasn't for this program. There's mentorship opportunities and you get some really cool prizes. If you can't tell by now, they chose me. <laughs> Y'all, I am an AT&T rising future maker. Are you kidding me? A rising future maker? 25 students across the nation. I'm one of 25. It still baffles me to this day. So let me tell y'all how this happened, right? Right. I just finished my first year at the one and only Prairie View A&M University, getting a master's in business administration with a focus in entrepreneurship. As you can see, Pop Talk, Poppy J Media, the cooler kid. Well, during my first semester studying at PV, you know, I was actually on a work travel trip. And um, at the end of my work day, I was sitting in my hotel, scrolling on Instagram and iced tea. Y'all know iced tea, right? Like iced tea, iced tea of all the people in the world, iced tea popped up on my Instagram feed. And he was like, hey, are you an HBCU student? And I was like, I actually am. Yeah. You should apply to be an AT&T Rising Future Maker. I followed the link. The link said create a one minute video um, telling us why you are a Rising Future Maker. And I sat in my hotel room on this trip and recorded this video in the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry, AT&T. But that's, I was working with what I had. And that's all I ever do is work with what I'm giving. I'm going to do the best that I can do with what I got. High five, Jesus. So, who wants to see my one minute audition video? What's good, y'all? What's up with it? It's your girl, Poppy. And I am so excited for this opportunity to become a rising future maker. Growing up, I used to always call myself the next generation's Oprah. And you know what? I'm bringing that back. I am gonna be the next generation's Oprah. I aspire to interview and connect with people in a way that their stories and platforms are able to reach an audience and inspire people to continue on their journeys and taking those next steps in life. I like to think that I'm doing that now. One way I do that is through my YouTube channel. On that platform, I will talk about my experiences, lessons learned and journeys through college, single motherhood, being a full-time employee, Employee, balancing the three while still going after your dreams. This year, I was able to create and launch my first podcast. I also was able to create and launch my first small business. I think the support that AT&T gives to aspiring entrepreneurs, digital media creators, hosts, and hopefully me can really help me take my dreams and goals to the next level and reach so many more people. So with all that being said, thank you again for this opportunity. It's your girl Poppy signing off. Peace, love, and blessings. Remember to live your life with hashtag all smiles. All right, y'all back. Now, wasn't that a cute little video? I said what I had to say. I did what I had to do. I thought it was real cute. Long story short, I submitted it. 
didn't think twice about it because you know you you see these things and you're like oh it's just a sweepstakes oh they don't really watch these videos they don't really you know pay attention to who you are and what you got going on but child i submitted it and said a prayer and moved on with my life come november i'm getting emails saying girl you selected you won a 25 we see your rise and y'all since that email in november life has literally not been the same for me i myself feel different i feel like i'm the things that i'm doing are not in vain right it's these dreams and these these goals that the lord puts on my heart and i'm like I can see where this fits for me. I can see why you want me to do it. But what is it all really working towards? What is it really for? And it's moments like this that's like other people see this. <laughs> people see your rise. They see the work that you're doing. You you are inspiring the next generation. And it just hit different. I think another thing that really solidified this this Rising Future Maker program for me was just the transition that I had from undergrad to adulthood to grad school. My senior year was COVID. And then on top of that, I was pregnant and I graduated December of 2020. I had Jeremiah January of 2021, immediately got a job, immediately started working full time and then came into this world post COVID, not really knowing anything. And so for me, it was a, there was a lot of times from 2020 to 2022 where I was like there's no opportunity left for me <laughs> you know it's like I'm just gonna get this job I'm gonna work this job and that's just gonna be it and I'm gonna raise Jeremiah and that's it like I'm not in college anymore all of the resources and opportunities have passed me by I've definitely finished undergrad like I'm never going to school again what's the point of it it ended in a pandemic anyways <laughs> The first semester of that MBA program, conditionally accepted, I get chosen as a top 25 rising future maker? In what world does that make sense? Mine. <laughs> Fast forward to December of last year. We had this really great meeting for all of the rising future makers. And they said, we want everybody to come in and say who you are, what you do, why are you a rising future maker? I realized that I was in a cohort with 24 undergraduate students who have the world sitting on a platter for them. They know it, they see it, they experience it. Whereas I felt in that moment, the, the platter had been taken away, right? I felt like I was starting from ground zero I had I had nothing to my name, nothing to my resume. I was legitimately starting over. They were working in the White House. They have 501Cs and nonprofit organizations and they're in the community with kids and they're scientists, they're chemists, they're, they're media moguls. These are people who are the top notch of young black people in America. And I was sitting there and they said, okay, Poppy, Introduce yourself. Why are you a rising future maker? What do you do? And I was like, well, I work full time. I'm a mom, a single mom. Um, I'm, I just started an MBA program. Um, I did launch a podcast this year. So that podcast is great. Um, I'm a, why am I a rising future maker? You ever felt like that? You're sitting at a table that you're meant to be at, but you don't know how or why you're there. You ever felt like that? I felt like that. That was really hard. But my mom said something very interesting. She said, you know, a lot of the things you're telling me that these kids are doing, when you were their age, you were doing the same thing. I said, was I? She said, you have to look at where you are and where they are. She said, they are where you were three years ago. 
So their resume is going to look how your resume looked three years ago. And she told me, she said, you're exactly where you need to be doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And the people that chose you to be a part of that program saw that, understood that. And now they're going to help you mold and grow into where you want to be. But you are exactly where, you meant, where you're meant to be doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Walk in it. Own it. Live it. Be it. And I say... You're right. So who is Poppy? Who am I? I'm every woman. It's all in me. Anything you want them, baby. But no, seriously, guys. It's in the moments like this where you have to realize who you are despite what other people say or what other people do. You need to realize where you're going despite where everybody else is going. And you need to know that you are more than what is on your resume. You're always more than that. Because if you take away the YouTube channel, if you take away the podcast, if you take away the full-time job, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be too mad if I took away the full-time job, as long as I still have some money. But if you take away all the things that you do, who you are at your core, who you are in Christ Jesus' name, is so much more than the things that are on your resume. But because you allow God to work through you, to move in you, you become so many different things to so many different people. And, and, and it's just amazing to see and to understand that the things that I'm doing and the things that I'm aspiring for are not in vain. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm just blessed. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to be a part of this once in a lifetime opportunity, this once in a lifetime class to AT&T. Thank you. To AT&T Dreaming Black. Thank you times 10. I think I didn't talk enough. Y'all, I got some good stuff cooking up for pop top. Hey, pop top. Hey. <laughs> for the rest of season one, I'm going to take you guys on a journey of learning more about my rising future makers class of 2022 that's right i'm interviewing rising future makers you guys are going to meet some of the most inspiring young black people in the world you guys are going to meet future media moguls you're going to meet businessmen businesswoman artists creative scientists the list truly goes on i adore each and every one of these people that you're going to meet and I hope that their stories inspire you. I hope that their interviews motivate you to continue reaching for the things that you have going on in your own life. Because, honey, we want everybody to win, period. There's a seat for everyone. I know that's right. But without further ado, your girl gots to go. So it's your girl, Poppy, signing off. Peace, love, and blessings. Remember to live your life with hashtag all smiles. High five, Jesus. Girl, Poppy, Jay, yeah, yeah, high five, G.